I did make a mistake earlier. The correct way to um, make use of the func wrapper would be to pass the function as a, an argument to the decorator. So let me just show that. We are decorating a function, okay, and then we create a wrapper, right? So this accepts any number of arguments and keyword arguments. And we can write our code here, right? But the secret sauce is when we wrap this function, we have to pass in the function we're wrapping, okay? And then we can just go ahead to say, um, call function with the arguments and keyword arguments before that we could print a login statement so let's say that. Um, running function name with args and quarks Okay, and we can return the output of that, and then finally we return the wrapper. So the decorator returns the wrapper, and then we can go ahead and create uh, and decorate our function. Let's say mine again. A and return a times eight product of a and eight, and we call mine on ten. Awesome. We get the login output okay, but now mine remembers who it is. So the name didn't change even though we wrapped it. So that's the use of font to decorators, okay? And then we can talk about the uses of decorators, which is validation and login. So I've already showed a form of login. Basically, we want to track each call of the function and the arguments it got to maybe look over them for maybe in the future to see maybe what happened to trace our history. Basically, so by logging, I mean compiling a history of calls and new times we made it to that function and the arguments we passed it. Validation too could be to check that the arguments we expect are correct. So we can create a new function or decorator that validates that the arguments of a function are the right type. Okay, so we expect number to be a number, right? Um, square is supposed to work on only numbers, okay? So we can basically do something of this nature. Remember that number is going to be the first positional argument, so it's going to be arg0, okay? And you can say if is instance, or if not is instance, the instance is just going to return the type of an object, whether it matches the type we're expecting. So number and integer, okay? We will raise an error here. Value error. Okay, which means that it's invalid basically. So the number we are expecting must be a number, it shouldn't be a string. It could also be a float, so you could also say or okay, so it could be a float. Okay, so we could say if it's not an instance of this. And it's not an instance, so it's not is instance basically instance of um float. We raise a value error, okay. And what that means is that we can try some like um square forty five, and we expect to get an error value error. Running this for my terminal, our shell terminal in. VS code. Okay, and then we make it up to a wrapper from font to import wraps, add wraps function. Awesome, so we run that again and we get the value error as we expected. Okay, so square root 45, 45 is not 
a string of it's not an integer of float so we get a value error which is validation so we basically talked about um decorators how to use them how to create them how to maintain their integrity so they don't um spoil or distort the properties of the previous function or earlier object i talked about how to use them to maybe implement logging and validation okay so thanks for listening and that will be all okay.